Theresa May's awkward curtsy strikes again as she meets Prince William, it's grotesque. Theresa May has been mocked for her awkward curtsy to Prince William after she greeted the future king at a Battle of Amiens centenary ceremony in France. The Prime Minister took the rather strange curtsy, which saw her perform an unusually low dip, as she greeted Prince William at Amiens Cathedral in northern France this afternoon. The unusual plunge quickly prompted Twitter users to mock the Prime Minister for her grotesque curtsy. Tenement Val wrote, watching Ong Yen commemoration on Sky. Once again, May nearly smashes her head off the pavement, in a grotesque curtsy to Prince William. No one else does it, they simply do a nod of a head. Writer's Frock said, May's completely ridiculous curtsy again completely out of kilter with everyone else. Hashtag Om Yen 100. Another noted that the greeting made it look like Theresa May was on the floor. It is not the first time Mrs. May has executed the strange plunge. Photographers have previously captured the Prime Minister going low for the Queen and Prince William's wife, Kate. To show respect for members of the royal family in a traditional way, Mrs. May is expected to curtsy to the Queen and her husband, Prince Philip. She is also expected to bow for Prince Charles and his brothers and sisters, Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. According to etiquette experts de Bretz, royals should be met with a brief but clear bobbing of the head. They said, low sweeping curtsies, although usually well meant, are best reserved for the amateur dramatic stage and can be the subject of some amusement in royal circles. Mrs. May today paid tribute to the courage, bravery and skill of troops who fought in the First World War Battle of Amiens as a poignant commemoration service marked its centenary. Relatives of soldiers who served and died in the conflict also spoke of their pride and sadness as they joined the Prime Minister and the Duke of Cambridge at the event staged exactly 100 years since the start of the offensive. The battle changed the course of the war, as the comprehensive Allied victory due to superior tactics, use of technology and leadership, finally convinced German commanders they could not win. Prince William acknowledged the debt owed to the First World War troops in a message printed in the official program, The Battle of Amiens, and the continued fighting which followed during the summer of 1918, brought the Allies hope and optimism after four long years of bloodshed and stalemate. While it is right that we have collectively commemorated many of the significant battles and campaigns of those years, it is important that the success of the Battle of Amiens takes its rightful place in our shared history. Speaking on behalf of the Queen, Prince William also paid tribute to the city in northern France which connected the Allied forces in France and the UK. He said, I am delighted to join you all today to mark this important centenary on this historic Amiens Cathedral. From the very first start of the First World War Amiens found itself at the heart of the conflict. For most of the war it was just behind the Allied front lines. Military personnel soon became a familiar sight on its streets. For thousands of servicemen it became a home away from home. Amiens was a city of connections, its railway line was a vital link between Paris and the Sorth. Here the armed forces of France and the British Empire came together. It connected the Allies, 